Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Floppy Nights. Key provided by Dev. Thank you very much, Dev. I'm very grateful to be able to play this. This is a tactical turn-based game with a little bit of deck building, a little bit of card strategy. There's a lot of a lot of stuff in here. Um, the artist that uh, did the, the work for um, Dicey Dungeons, so it's got a very cute vibe. We've got uh, the musician that did the music for Garden Story. A lot of hard work has been has been put into this one. I I'm honestly really excited to play this. It looks like a really cute Fire Emblem-like. I, I have a good feeling this one's gonna be a lot of fun. I am using the controller. I don't generally play the tactics games with the controller, but it promised rumble features, so I, I was kind of interested to see how it would play with the controller. Just to set Carlton, advanced robotics are not that simple. I have waited an entire week. It only took you a month to make me. Implementing an upgrade for me should only take 30 minutes maximum. I just finished installing a floppy disk drive on you. I, I saw a, few, a couple people commenting that a lot of people are about to uh, learn what a floppy disk is. I, I barely had to use one in like middle school, but yeah, floppy disks. What a, what a time, huh? Fascinating, look at that little guy. I call them floppy knights. They can touch things, grab stuff, and in this one's case, kick my tools. Let's go over the basics, Carlton. Loading training simulation. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to work, you know? Correct. However, it is important to have fun while you work. Battle start. Meet Captain Thistle. They're a commander unit, sort of like our team leader. Oh, I can see their stats. To play any unit, we select their card with A. Use the left stick to highlight the blue. Deployment, press A. Sweet. You can see their HP number in the bottom right corner. Each turn, our commander generates a special card for us to use. We uh, draw five cards of our own from the deck. Anything we don't play gets discarded. Okay, so we're combining a bit of deck building with a little bit of tactics. Now let's use Captain Thistle's special card to move. First select the plow ahead card from the card bar using A. Press A again on Captain Thistle to play the card. They're ready to move. Each unit can move a number of tiles equal to their sp speed stat. Each unit gets one free attack. Each turn that costs no energy to use. You see this sword icon in a unit, that means they haven't used their free attack yet. Good good uh, sense of conveyance there. I like that. We should press A on Captain Thistle to activate their free attack. All right. Ooh. Victory. Oh, that poor succulent plant, though. A win. A winner is us. Reward. Win in five, less, five or less turns. Okay. I estimate we are ready to take on a job and make some sick cash. I like the little sunglasses on there. Listen, I have a plan so I won't have to get some boring job. I'll even make enough money to buy my own place. Wow, your own house, huh? You really do have lofty goals. <laughs> I, lo I love video games, you know? Uh, in days gone past, it was, you know, what do you want to do? Rescue the princess? Destroy evil in the universe? And now lofty goals include get a house and a job. <laughs> this one here is for the millennials. Uh, you're, you're just about finished high school. Looks like you're going to have to decide what to do with the rest of your life. What, you're not sure? That's not an option, I'm afraid. Bills to pay, I'm afraid. It says here on the job posting that you are uh, terrorized by vegetarian goblins. <laughs> Check it out, fellas. I don't know what kind of magic this lady's using to make food come out of the ground, but I'm just loving it. Let's fill the bags up. <laughs> These little punks, what are you waiting for? Go get them. To win this battle, defeat all the enemies. We've got our good old Captain Thistle. We'll, we'll, we'll place him a little bit back so that maybe, maybe the other units can't reach us in time. We'll always draw the commander first at the start of every battle. We'll let other units take as many hits as we want. But our commander is the leader, and if their HP reaches zero, we lose. I don't seem to have any other units except the commander, so we're gonna have to be aggressive with them. All right, let's... Should be able to kill them? Yeah. I don't think any of them can reach me. So I don't think we can do another attack, but we could use this to give our uh, Thistle, Thistle friend here plus one attack. I'm assuming that's for the rest of combat. All right. Let's end the turn. Oh, they didn't move. Interesting. Okay, we have more stuff to do now. Move unit, flip to reap. Attack a unit flips to sow after use. This card will be transformed into a new card. Interesting. So it reaps. I have observed that some terrain will give our units a bonus. These forests will give a unit extra defense against an attack. Attack an enemy, flip to sow. So move a unit, flips back to reap. Oh, I see. Oh, that's that's really cute. Okay. The unit gains plus one speed for this turn. Uh, we don't need to do that necessarily. It's, let's just go and, and beat someone up. 
we can also add an, another unit. So let's, uh, we'll, we'll attack this guy for four damage. Oh, five damage, apparently. Oh, that's right, because we added plus five attack. And then we'll go ahead and throw our succulent kicker in here as well. This guy can't reach, correct? Oh, he can reach. Oh, I, I, I blundered a little bit. Okay, we'll, we'll move, we'll move them to the forest. How about that? So they get a little bit of a defense. All right, we'll end our turn. These goblins are, they're not moving. They, they are staying exactly where they are. Unit gains plus one speed this turn. I'm assuming, okay, we're gonna need that plus one speed. Although it's, they're, they're not gonna be able to reach that goblin on the right anyway. So we may as well um, just move them twice. All right, then we'll have them do their free attack. So we have three energy left. Do we have enough to get this guy? Oh, we do. So we could actually kill this goblin over here because we can have them do a free attack for two damage and then use another card to make them attack again. This might be, this must be like a training mission to enemy has been instructed that they cannot move at all. Um, so we should be able to kill this goblin with our succulent kicker. Here we go. Win. Don't lose any units. Nice. Reward. Spitunia. Poison attacks and poison shot. Upgrade a plant's card in your hand. Destroy. Fantastic. I'm paying you to get to the root of this problem. Is that some vegetable humor? Haha, <laughs> nice. Go. Oh, okay, we're going. We acquired a card from that last battle. We can add it to our deck here. This is the deck builder. We can add cards to our deck through here. Oh, so we're, this, is, this game isn't necessarily a deck builder, it's a deck builder. So instead of, uh, I guess, like adding cards to our deck over time, we're getting cards which we can then use to alter our deck between battles. So they have poison attacks. Bingo, Spatoonie will be in our deck. It's that easy. Creating a strong deck will be critical to our success, so let's keep an eye on new cards as we get them. Well, we'll also add our, our grow in there. Okay, why not? Let's just add all our cards. Why not? They are using a communication device. Let's deal with these twerps. I want to get paid as quickly as possible. It me. Oh, we have water terrain this time. Watch out for that enemy spawner. Reinforcements will arrive on these when the countdown reaches zero. Make sure to take care of those enemies quick so we don't get overwhelmed. Let's um, let's spawn in an, our Spatunia. So they, they do give us an attack, poison attack, plus one damage. They have a bit of range on them, so let's uh, let's go ahead and move them ahead a little bit. We'll, we'll poison this guy. He, I have to assume he's gonna take one damage and maybe die on the next turn. Yeah, he did die, nice. Oh. All right, there's our, our first damage taken. All right, let's move this guy over here so he can attack this guy over here. And then we'll move Thistle Dude. We should have used the uh, so to to move instead because then we would have had an extra attack. But we'll just do a normal attack, that's fine. And uh, I have two energy left, so why don't we go ahead and add that to our thistle. Oh wow, enemy can move through other units. Uh, our spittoon is gone. Shoot, create a plant's card in your hand, destroy. So we can upgrade this to unit gains plus one attack this turn, move one extra tile delete. Sure, let's do that. Move them over here and uh, hit hit a baddie. We're going to uh, probably take some damage on this turn because we're about to about to get inundated by goblins. Oh, what, what are these guys? Okay, so if we move like one back, that should be enough. Let's see if I have we have enough attack to just take out the satellite this turn. Oh, we do get Spatunia back. I guess uh, Spatunia, when they died, they went into our discard pile. Play this card to destroy it. Oh, that's waste. Waste is generated uh, when a friendly unit is defeated. Oh, interesting. So we'll go ahead and uh, replay Spatunia. Honestly, I think we should just move um, our, our Thistle and then do a normal attack. Should be enough. This guy's going to be able to reach us, unfortunately. Oh, you know what? Let's move into the forest. That'll give us a defensive bonus. We got to we gotta start chewing through these enemies, otherwise we'll never get to the satellite. This is turn five, so we, we need to win on this turn. <laughs> so tell you what, let's use this to move Thistle over to the satellite. Then that becomes an attack. Yes. 
And then we'll just use our free attack to take out the satellite. And we win. Nice. Sometimes playing aggressively is better than uh, trying to just fight all the enemies. So you got barrel cactus. Area attack, add cactus juice. Wow, they seem really good. Attack an enemy if this unit is cur currently on a forest tile, plus one damage. So we have um, kind of circumstantial attacks and cards that work with the environments on the field. We're ready to craft some cards of our own. Let's make some new cards. Maybe we should make this one. Well, that was a freebie. I'll add this card to our backpack. Maybe we should make this one. No, I wanna make, uh, what is this one? Units gain plus two max HP, destroy. Attack an enemy, boost. What does boost mean? Each time this card is played, it turns into a stronger version of itself. Oh, I like that. Draw one card, gain one energy. That's obviously very nice. I think I want the seed sword though. And I think I'll also take this one. And then we're gonna wanna put those cards in our deck. Do we wanna take out some cards maybe? Maybe have like one less attack since we have a better attack now? I love the, the animated tiles in this game are top notch. And obviously like the art style on, uh, on the environments and the characters are like, Seriously cute, that voice. Oh, fancy seeing you here, Phoebes. Snarlton, what? I'll have you know Alex programmed me to be far superior to your obsolete specs. Oh yeah, prove it. Do long division right now. <laughs> I don't think there's any way around it, Carlton. We gotta kick her butt so we can finish this goblin job. It looks like there's um, something to collect on this mission. Defeat all the enemies. We have to, what, all of them? But there's a uh, respawn. Oh, brutal. How far does this guy move? Okay, so we should be safe no matter where we place our, our commander. It appears as though the goblins left behind some vegetables. I bet if we can get it before Alex Slimes goop it up, we'll get extra rewards. That's gonna be kind of difficult. All right, move unit. I like this card. I like the uh, transforming cards. That's a lot of fun. We won't be able to defeat this guy right away, unfortunately, but that's okay because we have another attack. We should be able to get those veggies. We will take an attack, but that's okay. We're gonna get the veggies. Upgrade a plants card in your hand, destroy. Plus one damage, flip to sow. Yeah, let's, let's upgrade that card. I like that card. Oh, they can attack diagonally, huh? And they did two damage. That's pretty brutal. Uh, we're gonna need Spatunia in there, but it might be a good idea to hold back, actually. Let me do a little bit of math here. If I I have five energy, I could play I could play all of these. I guess I could play all of them minus one move with the plow ahead. Then again, it might be better just to uh, play another creature. I could play do a move, attack an enemy, and then back out with uh, thistle. That could that could be good actually. Nice. It does more damage now, but it also takes more energy. Let's um, back up. We'll go behind these mountains. I think we should be okay there. Yeah. All right, that was a pretty good turn. We'll have to move our, our goober up. Oh no! Oh, he was able to reach. They have range. The blue ones have range. We have to, we have to back up, back him up a bit. Actually, if I could go in Oh, he doesn't have any attacks. Well, he has his free attack, but that's not really gonna cut it, is it? All right, I think it, I think we just need to back him out a bit. This this could get really spicy. All right, so we can do, we could boost this again. I don't know if I want to just yet though. I kind of want to move Goober up and have him attack two enemies. So we'll have him attack him. He's not gonna take a lot of damage, but he's poisoned now. And then we'll move, we'll move Goober up a little bit and have him, oh, he can't, can he not reach them? Oh, he can't, oh, if I could undo the last move, I totally would. There's not really anything I can do about this now. I can move them out, I suppose. I probably should do that. Let's, let's have them move back. All right, not, not ideal. Oh no, three damage. These slimes are brutal. Okay, so I'm gonna move Goober. Oh, he can attack diagonally there now. So he should attack now. All right, let's 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 have him attack. That'll kill that one dude. And then I'm gonna move him over. Actually, we'll use, uh, we'll use So to make him move so that he can hit this other guy. I guess I should be using my free attack first. So that guy is dead now. I have two energy left. 
I know I could have used the uh, extra attack, but I didn't want to risk it. Not that there's, I don't think there's like any chance of doing less damage than you normally have. Um, all right, so that's all of our energy. We did, we did kind of recover a little bit there. Although our commander is still at like one health, so that's not ideal. All right, this, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna need Goober to go and hit that blue slime. They had, they have armor because of the forest. So we have to do, we're gonna do two attacks. We wanna make sure that guy is like well and truly dead. Yeah, we're, we're totally good. Okay, I'm just gonna keep Thistle back. Goober is doing uh, quite a lot on his own. I'm just taking it calling him Goober now. You can't stop it, I'm afraid. All right, we're gonna do a budding sword attack because it should be enough to... Oh, that wasn't enough to fully kill him. Oh, that sucks. Um, we should have given him a plus one attack before I did that. Let's just have him do his free attack to take that guy out. We'll have him plow ahead. Um, just trying to think how we can best do this. I guess the flowering sword would be the best one. Is that enough to kill him? Yes, it is. Nice. This guy's going to have uh, the range required to get over there. Our living sword is like ridiculous. So we're just gonna have Goober use their, their free attack to kill this blue slime. And I don't, I'm not gonna bother finishing them off. We'll just have um, our Thistle to commander to, to come over here and, and finish this last slime off. And we, we'll, we're we good. Actually, I guess we can use this extra attack to uh, kill the last blue slime. We're totally good. That was a little bit close, a little bit harrowing, but um, worked out in the end. Bam Boomer. Mark my words, Phoebes, you may have won this time, but the Gadget Cup will be a whole different story. Defeat all enemies, don't lose any units. Okay. It's a it's an interesting game because like, you, usually in these kind of games you wanna have as many units as you can, right? More units means more actions, means more damage dealt. But in this uh, in this game, your actions are um, split amongst all of your units, right? You, you only have a certain amount of cards and a certain amount of energy. I wouldn't necessarily say that having more uh, units out on the field is, is just the good move. That being said, later we may have more energy or so. Reach the target goal and hold it for two turns. Oh, that's king of the hill, huh? I know this game is uh, slated to hit consoles and I, I gotta say the, the controller support is quite nice. I, I Like I say, I generally don't play these kind of games with uh, a controller, but I, f I thought I'd give it a go. It's easy to kind of reach everything and, and switch between cards and combat. I like Spatunia a lot. I like, I like that extra range. So we're gonna move them over here and kill this one gobby. Oh, we're in range now. I didn't realize that. I figured the forest might slow them down, but that's just my... That's my brain giving me false, like, rules from other games that work that way. We can get it online and use the deployment zone to advance. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see, so we can we can place more units there. So we took a damage, that's a game. We got our tree folk rock. Let's go ahead and throw that on our thistle. And we're gonna have them attack this unit right away. We're gonna wanna move Gooby up. And I guess that was not maybe great. Gooby is fine if they die, and we can poison this go goblin. That'll do a little bit of damage. But they also have some defense, so maybe they're okay. Whoa, they died from one hit there. That's wild. Yeah, so this seed sword uh, improves only in this combat, which makes sense. It would be a bit broken if it... Um, oh, don't lose any units, so I have already failed the bonus objective. That's okay. This is the kind of game I can see trying to, like, wanting to go back and improve our how we did the mission so we can get more gold and, and stuff. Upgrade a plant's card in your hand. Destroy. Can we upgrade the seed sword? Yes, we can. So it would do more right away. That'd be nice. Let's get over here and do some damage. Nice. Um, well, let's keep keep the pain train moving. I'm assuming our succulent kicker is about to die. That's fine. We already failed the mission. We, we'll, we'll bring Gooby back up. So we should be able to possibly kill this goblin here with our free attack and then our poison shot. That was actually like a lot of extra damage 
It's a, it is it's interesting. I haven't really seen a tactics game with too much RNG and like what kind of actions you can take each turn. And it is it's cool because I mean it doesn't make you feel like oh I hope I get my good cards this turn because there are no good cards per se. There's just like different combinations. They all feel valuable in their own right. You just kind of have to adapt around them. And as you get more and more cards you're gonna have more and more kind of circumstantial cards that would give you a bit more flexibility or maybe then you can kind of lean into the RNG a bit. All right, move up, attack. We should be able to kill both these guys this turn. Actually, let's just use our free attack because then we can get to this uh, zone here and also turn our so into a reap. We, we need to move Gooby up, this needs to happen. I'm not sure how much damage this guy is gonna do, but probably a lot. All right, we need to we need to move our dude up. Oh, we can move right here. Oh, perfect. Now we can deploy our units closer to those goblins. Oh, return a unit to your hand to delete. Oh, we don't want to do that. I, I can understand the value in doing that, I have to say. Let's do our big attack on this guy. Ooh, that was almost a kill there. I think we might have enough attack to just kill that unit. Oh, not enough. So now he's gonna take two hits. This could be really bad. Could be game over, actually. Uh, okay, not not a game over. Okay, we have no extra attacks this turn. Go ahead and kill this unit, and then we're gonna we're gonna run away. Okay, so both of our units are in range. I can move them both out of range, give them extra defense, and then also use these waste cards. I think that's a good good use of our turn. Oh, they were able to reach? Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize they were still in range. Dang. I was kind of hoping we would get our succulent uh, kicker, but that's not in the card. So instead, let's, um, let's move, we'll move them up. This could very well be, take some risks. Oh, we can't, this guy's got a, a weird range. I, I'm gonna have to move him up as well if I want to make use of him. I could move him. Oh, no, that's not it. That's not it. What we're gonna do is not worry about Goober for now. We're gonna kill this guy. Then we're going to move our Thistle over here, this other guy. We know what we have left to do. We can move Goober back. You know, you gotta deal with the, the, the priorities, right? You gotta prioritize certain things. So now we know what's up. Oh, I th that wasn't enough actually. But that's okay, we have another attack card. We can, we can hit him again. That went pretty okay. We can move behind those mountains and uh, I assume it would take a while for those other enemies to kind of catch up. Let's just take care of this guy. All right, what's the range on this guy? Oh, we're already in range and we need Goober to catch up. So we're gonna use the extra speed. Oh, there, I've put them in range now, see? Um, can we, we can move them on top of this. I don't know what that's going to do when the enemy spawns in. Oh, they didn't, they didn't move. Interesting. All right, so we have two movements. We have just a, barely enough to make it on here. Unfortunately, I don't think I should because that's gonna put them in range. Yeah, just barely in range. So I think what I'll do instead is I'm gonna move Goober up. I think I, can, I have enough to get them on the flag. But it doesn't matter because the important thing is that they're there and they have the range to do some damage to this unit and also poison them. So they're gonna have to waste a bit of extra t time. Um, first of all, attacking Goober. Yeah, they're gonna have to waste a bit of time now. Nice. Actually, it's great that they moved that way because now they're gonna spend even more time and we can basically we, we should be able to win on the next turn. Let's see what the what the, the range is. Okay, so we just need to move Thistle out of their threat zone. This guy doesn't have range, right? No, he doesn't. Perfect. We can honestly just end our turn. Nice. So we didn't get the bonus reward, the gold, but that's okay. We still did it. We got Vera. Restore one HP to other units each turn. Oh, I see, like Aloe Vera. Tell you what, I'm gonna take half of this huge staff of veggies you stole. You can keep the other half. I should tide you over till you grow your own, but in return, you have to leave that farmer alone, okay? That is a good deal too. If I had my way, I would have incinerated you with my laser eyes. <laughs> Look at the, the, the eyes. Laser eyes. Episode completed.
Challenges. I've crafted the most ingenious challenges for you and your silly little knights. I even made the decks you'll be using because I know you need the help. So um, these are meant to kind of grind up a little bit of gold if you are feeling uh, underprepared for some of the later missions. That way you can craft some more cards and improve your deck. I have to say, I, I really appreciate um, that they didn't go roguelike with this game and instead just like built it to be uh, a more traditional tactics game. I'm having a lot of fun with this and I'm, I'm interested to see what other kind of cards we have. Unit loses three max HP gain poison attacks. Uh, that sounds dangerous. Rehydrate, move unit. If this unit is currently on a water tile, move plus two extra tiles. Grow, oh, I like the grow cards. Let's, uh, we'll make a grow card. And actually, can I make the sunshine? Uh, no. Crop rotation, I get it, it's funny. I liked it. Oh, we can add Vera. They'll be a, a healer. I, I kind of want to get rid of uh, Succulent Kicker because we have, oh, they're a commander. Oh, I don't want to get rid of Succulent Kicker. Well, maybe we do actually, because we have some new units that would be fun, like the Bam Boomer add roots. Have Move a unit extra tiles if they are currently on a forest tile. Oh, cool. And then uh, Barrow Cactus. So we have three units besides their commander now. I feel like that's enough. You don't want to add too many, right? And bloat your deck out. Um, oh, okay, so we can see very easily uh, how many objectives we've completed and how many bonus objectives. But I think I'm gonna leave this for now. I honestly wouldn't mind doing a series on this. Uh, it's, a, it's a really fun game and it's it's just kind of nice to play something with back to basics tactics. Uh, the deck building element is really good. It's not, like even if you're burnt out on deck building games, this one, it's, it's just a opportunity for a bit of variety and it gives you a chance to adapt to your situation, which I think is a lot of fun. But in any case, this is Floppy Nights. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.